Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tiger Pit. Also known as the Tired Tiger's Playground. That's right. Get home from work, sun's out, package from Red Hills Cutlery. This could be two knives. This could be five knives. I have no idea. I will find out. So let's do an unboxing. I also received another box from Chicago Knife Works. I told myself I wasn't going to order anymore, but I don't know. What's wrong with me? So if we have time to do that, I will for another video before my buddy Brad gets here for a knife party. Get the paperwork, get the fun stuff. Oh, what? I finally got a case sticker that's four years old. Mark of a new era, 2020. The old case stamp. Wow, they just threw that in. This must be the five knife unboxing. Let's see what we have here. Is it? What is it? What do we got? Is it two? <sighs> it is. Well, five knives. Here we go. So, one of these is a buck fifty-five, a gift for my buddy Mike, who just turned fifty-five years old. I asked him if he wanted a buck one twelve. And showed him one with the finger grooves, and he really liked that. Or if he wanted a buck fifty-five, and he said buck fifty-five. I told him they're small. So why don't we open that one first? What? I got a Victorinox. I don't like Victorinox. Well, I found one at the suggestion of Elon that I really couldn't pass up. I hadn't noticed it before. So let's get into it. Buck 55, genuine ebony, hardwood handle. This was manufactured May 20th, 20, 2022. So it's pretty old, made in USA. Not very many people get these. I did a review of a buck 55 a while ago. Brad had one that, um, I guess it doesn't come with a sheath. Uh, Brad had one that was in Buffalo and it was signed by Chuck Buck himself. So if you don't know what a buck 55, this is what one looks like. It's a little lock back. I'd say it's half of a buck 110. Very cool. Now it's interesting, it doesn't come with a sheath. There's fingerprints all over it. I will have to double check to see if it was supposed to come with one or not. Of course, very sharp. You can get, you can get four fingers on this. Got a nice clip point. A little dirty, but action's pretty good. Blade centering's not too bad. Very cool. Interesting. Well, that's a pretty expensive knife not to come with a sheath. They're, it's the same price as a, a buck 112 with finger grooves. Wow. Okay. Well, let's save the Victorinox. It's a surprise. I got a few cases here. So tomorrow I'm going to get a package of two more cases. What should we go with first? Let's do the pocket worn. Gray bone. Carbon Steel, Sodbuster Jr. Manufactured November 17th, 2023. Um, I got this because I had a discount and I wanted a Carbon Steel to match my, a gray bone, bone Carbon Steel to match my uh, Barlow. So I hope this is a good one. I know Sean of Watch City Knives has had some bad ones. Beautiful Crindle Chig Gray Bone. I don't see any gaps. Wow. This is nice. Now, I'm not too over the moon about the Gray Bone. Um, it is a nice Gray Bone. 
but uh, like I said, I I don't, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to collect more and more case carbon steel knives. Let's see, blade centering looks pretty good. It's off to the show side a bit. Well, well now it's perfectly centered, so. I don't see any cracks, any blems. Wow, look at that. I think I have like six, maybe seven Saudi juniors now. I only have one in carbon steel and that's the mahogany bone. So I wanted to get this to match, like I said, match my Barlow. Wow, that is really nice. Love it. Oh, what should I do next? What should I do next? Let's do, let's do this one. Now I, I've been wanting to collect these. This is a, there goes my sticker. This, there, this is a uh, gray bird see, bird's eye maple smooth mini trapper. And I'm, I'm more into the bone and my card up. Um, but the reason I got this mini trapper is it's a mini with a worn clip and they've been selling out everywhere. And I think this is my first wood case. I really do. I don't think I have any case that are wood. Wow, this is really nice. Hopefully the, you guys can see that. It's got the arrowhead shield. Blade centering doesn't look too bad. The main blade's off to the uh, pile side a bit. I don't see any gaps. But like I said, what I love about these, it's got the Warren Cliff. And I tell myself, I wanna collect every one. And I'm probably not gonna get the Emerald Smooth Bone. Emerald Green Smooth Bone. It came out lighter than I really liked. And um, I told myself I wanna collect every one. But I also don't have the Workman Series, which is Carbon Steel Red Synthetic. So I figured I would just sport the money and get this one. What a great snap. I just love the look of them. Look at that. Is that not a killer trapper if you've ever seen one? Really wish they'd make the full size, more full size with the Warren Cliff. Wow. This bird's eye maple looks killer. Yeah, the uh, main blade is off to the pile side of hair, not totally centered. At least it's not rubbing. And then the Warren Cliff is perfectly centered. Nice shine to this back spring. Wow. This may be a long video. I didn't expect five knives. Well, ah, let's show my Victorinox. Like I said, I don't... Uh, collect that many Victorinox. Um, I have the Halloween edition by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And then they had this, and I think with the discount, it was like $7 more than the little Classic XD. So I just sported for the Tinker. Look at that. Welcome to the Tiger Pit. Oh yeah, Tiger likes it. Look at that. What a tinker. Now, I saw this side and I'm like, meh. It reminds me of uh, some underwear I used to have when I was 13. But you turn it around, look at those tiger eyes. This is a Red Hill Cutlery exclusive. And it's the tinker. Uh, Elon, like I said, had mentioned, hey, are you going to pick that up? And I'm like, what, where? And I looked and sure enough. So yes, another Victorinox in the collection. It's the usual Tinker can opener, small flat head, um, bottle opener, large flat head. I already showed the main blade. 
and then it's got a spear blade. Also has a Phillips screwdriver on this and a leather punch or all. Very cool. Wow. So yeah, with my discount, I think it was like 27 bucks. Yeah, and I don't have very many Victorinoxes, so I figured why, why the heck not? It's a tiger, gotta get it. Okay, here we are, 10 minutes into it. My last one, what is it? It's a Tony Bowes, yellow bone, smooth sow belly. Um, I just did a short earlier today of my yellow bone full-size trapper. I have this, the mini trapper with Warncliffe. And I have the antique bone salabelli. And it's such a cool pattern. Wow. And I was torn between that and this yellow. Um, but with my discount, uh, these are usually 85 bucks. But with the discount, I think it was like 67 bucks to get a Tony Bowes sow belly stockman for under $70. And these are just, I think these are going to be a classic. I mean, I'm not a huge yellow smooth bone fan, but with this shield, it just pops. It just looks so good. Kind of looks like a banana. And I love the spotting in there. Wow. So yes, now I'm the proud owner of two Tony Bowes, Sowbelly Stockman. Whew. Yeah, and it's stainless steel, I know. Got the swedging on the back there, the sheep's foot, and then it's got the awesome swedging on the back of the spay blade that cants way down. Yeah. I just, I love this. Now, I didn't, there's not that many in this series that I really want, so I figured I'd sport for this. Uh, the Tony Bows are always going to be sought after. And like I said, I had one, an antique bone. And whereas it looks really nice, it's a little darker than I thought. And it looks like frozen root beer, which is cool. This one does not have any threading on the bolsters, just plain bolsters. Well, thank you very much, guys, for joining me in the sun at the Tired Tigers Playground. You have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you later. Bye now.